Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Metacall. I know it's been a little while. This is Smitty from 60cards.com, also a member of the A-Team. Uh, check us out. We're almost to episode 50. So um, anyways, it's been a while since I've posted a video. My bad on that. Uh, a lot M12 came out real fast, so we didn't get much time with new Phyrexia. Um, and now we just got M12 on here. So uh, here we go. We're going to go get view some videos. I uh, hope to do some live ones when I get a chance. Um, but I have been playing some 8-mans and 2-mans with this brew. It's a mono green brew called Back to Basics or B2B uh, just because it's mono green and it's basically a Timmy deck. But um, basically, it's just using the powerful green card since we got Garuk. And uh, surprisingly, Dungrovelder is extremely strong and Skin Shifter is much better than I expected. So the so list is above. Um, I got a pretty good write up on it to start with. Eventually, we'll come out with some sideboard strat or yeah, sideboard guide for you. Um, as well as show you some more matchups, but I just wanted to give you a little taste uh, because I know everyone likes videos and it's been a while, so here we go. Um, excuse me. So basically this is, um, I want to show you this one because it's against a Tezzeret deck, which, you know, it's not a huge part of the meta, but they do show up. It also shows you kind of how it acts against like a blue-black control type build. Um, and I just wanted to show you like how this deck can roll. Like this is the exact hand you want basically. I mean this is exactly what you want. So we're just gonna go all out. I mean removal could hurt here but often I mean you see the first turn preordains and that's pretty common. Um, so uh, the play here is obvious. This is pretty much our nut draw. Uh, you just go Cobra into Dungrove Elder. They cannot deal with the Dungrove Elder. Um, like you wouldn't do this if they were playing red obviously because you want to get your Dungrove Elder out of Pyroclasm range because past that uh, no deck other than running Day Judgment is going to kill it. I mean very few decks you're going to see Slagstorm or Consume the Meek. This one actually was running Consume the Meek but I knew I could overextend here and kill them before they got a chance. Also Black Sun Zenith could, y this hand could easily erase Black Sun Zenith so he actually taps out here which uh, it probably isn't the right play. I mean having mana leak open here would have been much better he would have taken six damage but wouldn't really mattered much uh compared to what is going to happen to him which is papa garuk's going to come down and uh oftentimes like if i got a guy with four power i'll just harmonize with him meaning just minus three him and kill him and draw four cards uh, i don't usually do that with three unless um they have something they can kill him on the way back I knew I was safe here with Beast Within. I had the uh, Nature's Claim. Um, anyways, never mind on that point. But uh, So obviously we're going to win here. I dropped Garuk. Now we're going to draw three because you know it keeps him alive and we like that. Um, Dungrove's going to get Builder and we just got Gas Forever. And this isn't even the exact Gas we want. If we just had something like um, Overwhelming Simpede there, probably would have just cast it. It would have in 14 damage and left him at one I think so anyways this is kind of the turn four kill and this is why the deck can race anything and beat anything but it's also got game because it has so many toolbox cards like nature's claim green sun zenith uh, beast within etc so I think he pretty much just scoops here at this point this is uh, lethal next turn yeah, and basically just nothing's going to happen there. So it's nut draws are amazing, and they happen more than probably any deck other than maybe Tempered Steel because um, even Tempered Steel, though, can struggle to lay the actual card Tempered Steel. This deck will always have the green mana. Uh, you know, the only thing you're going to be short on is maybe missing a land drop. So extremely consistent and powerful. Uh, Blue-Black is not going to beat this deck most of the time. Uh, especially out of the board, especially Tezra decks when you've got stuff like Creeping Corrosion and Nature's Claim. Uh, Consume the Meek and Black Sun Zenith is okay against Dungrove Elder, I guess. Uh, but you just have so many toolbox cards anyways, and you can keep them off mana with Beast Within, etc. So there's a first little taste of Back to Basics, and uh, stay tuned for some more. <laughs> 